Hey, I'm Ryan with Warner Discovers, and today we're gonna to look at the Vivor 12 inch exhaust fan. Now this is something I was looking into adding to the shed because of the temperature fluctuations, and this has a built-in temperature controller and humidity controller so that it turns on and off to exhaust the hot air out of the shed. So I got the 12 inch version because it seemed like the perfect amount that I would need given the space. So let's take a look at what comes in the box. First we have the user manual. So we have the temperature and humidity controller which plugs into the fan and also has a temperature probe. And we have some bolts. And then we have the fan itself, as you can see here. So on one side, this will mount on the outside and this opens and closes. And on the back, the fan, where we can plug it in with AC voltage and plug in the temperature and humidity controller. So I'm hoping to basically cut the hole out for this and mount it on the inside and this faces the outside. So let's take a look at how that install goes with the shed. So I'm out here in the shed with the fan and we are gonna install this up there where I have my drill so I can get a good idea of where this will be on the outside. And this is gonna be on the inside with this lip at the top and then this is gonna be on the outside. So I tried my best to mark where that would be, and let's give it a go, cutting this piece out. So I'm just using this multi-tool here. I'll have a link for that. And we got the first layer done, so now I'm just gonna sort of test fit the fan this way. So I'm just holding the fan in the box that I cut out, and I can tell it fits. So now I'm gonna cut the hole to the outside. Now we got the hole on the outside, and we can put the fan up. Well, the fan is through the hole. I'll have to vacuum some of this up, but now we'll just screw some screws in here right to the wood, and this should be fine, but this is just a little gap, so we'll figure that out. Got it screwed in. Just had to use my own screws, and there's plenty of other screw spaces if you need them, but four will be fine. And here is the outside and I'll have to take that piece of tape off and then maybe put some caulking around it. Now we have the screen, which has three different plugs in here, and we have a sensor for the temperature and humidity, and then we have an out, which is right here, already plugged into the fan. So I mounted the screen up on the plywood that I have here for convenience, and let's go ahead and turn the fan on. So here it is up and running. As you can see, we have the probe temperature, the probe humidity, and the fan is running at zero and the setting is at zero. And we can go ahead and change different modes here and go up and down the temperature and put it on like eco mode and turn off the screen and stuff. So you can have a timer, auto mode, different temperatures, different humidities, alarms, things like that. So for now, I'm just gonna put it on a high temp. So just to get this running, I had to put this into on mode where you can set the where you can set the fan speed here. And when it's on, it gets triggered and this is the max speed that you want to blow. So right now it is actually blowing at 10 and the setting is at 10. And so if I leave it at high temp, it will go up to 10 gradually as it gets away from the set high temp point. There's definitely some specifics in here. I would recommend checking out the modes between setting your high humid, low humid when things come on, timers, alarms, everything like that. So would recommend checking this out. But here it is up and running and that's blowing at 10. And here it is blowing outside. Back out here with the fan. I put some caulking around the top and sides and bottom and now it's sealed up. So just to give you an idea of the menu system here, I have it on auto and the flashing is what is currently active. So it's running at 10 speed. I have it set to 75 degrees as the high temp. So anything above 75 degrees is gonna turn it on. The low temp and the high humidity and low humidity I have set to off, but you can have windows where if you have the fan come on as a low temp at like 90, and so you have it turn on to bring it down and then a high temp at like 70, 
it'll bring it back up. You can kind of set a barrier to have it turn on and off. For me, I'm probably just gonna leave it on high temp just to have the shed not get so hot, as well as high humidity. If it's a high humid day, but it's you know low temperature, I'll probably still want it to come on. And then we have all these alarm settings that you can turn on if you want it to make a noise, I don't. And then the on, you actually set the fan speed as high as it can go is what I put. And then off, you can change the brightness level. And then a timer. And then back to auto. The one thing I don't understand is the louver outside. I thought it would sort of just close shut when it turns off, but it really kind of doesn't. You can kind of adjust it on your own, which is a little weird to me because I would want it to close when it's off. So it kind of like flutters a little bit, but it never really fully closes on its own. I think that's sort of strange. So I got the fan running. It's definitely been keeping the heat out of the shed. While it is sucking in hot air, it's definitely not as hot as it could be. So I hope this helped with the unboxing and installation and let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching.